right, I'm with uh, Jeff Bowler of uh, Sporting Dog Adventures. And uh, Jeff, you've been on TV for quite a while now. That worked four years running. We actually got our start with Dan Small on uh, Outdoor Wisconsin yep. a few years ago, and then now we have our own show for the last four years. Great, fantastic. Now, Jeff works with the retrievers. You, mark, you sell the dogs as well, and you work with work retrievers for hunting. Correct. We right. do sell about 12 litters a year, okay. all three colors. We also do training. We do obedience training, gun dog training, and shed training. Well, training starts when you take a dog home. Okay. So you're working with them when you take them home, and you're basically teaching them how to learn, right. and then their official training or their real training starts at six months old. We actually sell them at seven weeks, okay. and then we have people bring them back for training at six months, and then they stay for two to three months, and we get them ready for in the field. What people don't understand is you never really train a dog to hunt. They're bred for that. You're actually training a dog so they're under control and they hunt for you. Right. You do a lot of shows with retrievers. I mean, as far as like, um uh, f fetching the, the game and everything too. I mean, sure. Yeah. We do 13 episodes a year. We hunt all over the country. Right. We hunted uh, this year for our next season. We're in Saskatchewan all the way down to Louisiana. Wonderful. And we do everything from shed hunts to waterfowl hunts to upland hunts. We did some really great hunts out in the state of South Dakota this year. Great. Yeah, and we have uh, we have a young uh, chocolate lab here. She's Which actually five. She's not even young. She just she's looks five. like a pup. Yeah. That's okay. Lucy. Lucy has been doing this since she was four months old. Okay. She's got her own bed. She's got her own tip jar, oh, as yeah. you can okay. see there. Yeah. And uh, she's basically here to entertain people. People oh, have okay. been coming here for years to see her. And if yeah. she's not here, I'll get calls. Hey, you got to get down here quick with the dog because people are looking for her. Yeah. Well, I think, Jeff, what we got going on, I, I see your photo here from your show. Yep. Is this your, your dog here that's in the photo with you? That'd or? be Rommel and my kid Is walking that? through the frame here. <laughs> that's Rommel. He's actually that's the star Rommel. of our show. Yep. That's the star of the show. And I do know, Jeff, that you uh, do have a website. Yep, SoggyAcres.com okay. is our is our website for our kennel, and then SportingDogAdventures.com is our website for our TV show. Wonderful. Well, I'll tell you what, it's quite an honor. I mean, I'm glad I got to meet you. Grassy Narrows Lodge uh, out of uh, Canada. You have yep. a lodge out of Canada now. Yep. So tell us a little bit about it now. You, you just uh, started doing this, right? You just opened this lodge? Yep. Uh, my cousin and me are partners in it, and uh, basically what we did is we bought it out uh, last year. We've been working on the deal for about three years. Yeah. Uh, his aunt and uncle had it for 27 years, so yeah. Wayne's, uh, my cousin's been involved in it for ever since they bought it, so he's both familiar with it. He's the one that sits up there and runs it pretty much all the time, and you know I'll go up there and relieve him once in a while and help him out and everything. So. It's a nice place. It's a Bowdoin Lodge. We're uh, located in Miles Bay area of on in Ontario on Lake of the Woods. Okay. Um, once you cross the border at International Falls or Rainbow River Vidette, what you'll do is a call us and then we'll basically uh, we'll meet you at the marina. And at the marina, we have a secure parking spot you can park there. If you have a boat, you can launch it um, and follow us in. We'll load all your stuff up, we'll take you a nice scenic ride back to the marina or back to the lodge, which is about uh, 12 miles, about 35 minute boat ride. Fantastic. So once we get there, we offer um, two plans. We have the American plan or the housekeeping plan. Wonderful. So if you want to come in and do your own cooking, you can do that. Or if you want to come into the main lodge, uh, we have a very good cook that does all the cooking for us. She's a local farm lady, so she's going to make sure everybody puts on a few extra pounds when you're there. So. And uh, she don't have a problem with that. <laughs> oh, no. No, she loves her cooking. She loves her cooking. So that's a that's good thing. Uh, we have electric on the dock, so if you come and you have a boat, you need to charge your batteries and everything. You plug in when you come in at night and you can charge your batteries and everything. Well, you know, to, uh, I mean, that's serenity. And it's a sure. great, great way to fish and enjoy it, you know, in sure. a beautiful country. Yeah, it's country. gorgeous. All sorts of wildlife there. Yeah. Uh, we do have bears, but uh, no, we have our Jed, our camp dog, which is laying out of your sight there, <laughs> but he, uh, He'll protect everybody from the bears. If yeah. they come in the camp, he lets, he'll chase them out of their tree them and bark and let us know they're there. But they don't come in too often, but you, you might yeah. see a bear here and there. Oh, yeah. uh, a lot of deer, so a nice thing about right. wildlife and a lot of birds and everything. So. Right, right, fantastic. And uh, right at, uh, nice at home kind of stay, the home cooked meals yep. and all that, that's yep. just phenomenal. Yeah. So when the people come up there and, and them that may not know and they want to take their first trip or something sure. like that, what kind of uh, fish can they expect to catch a lot of? Um, I mean, it's excellent walleyes. Good. You can catch a lot of walleyes. Uh, two of the biggest muskies we, uh, that were caught there last year were actually caught within sight of the dock. Phenomenal. We had uh, one of our patrons caught a 51 inch off the point here. And then the very next day you got a 54 inch off this bottom island here. So it was back to back 50s. So, uh, but you can catch fish all within sight of the dock. There's uh, some of your best fish is probably within 10, 15 minutes of the 
of the lodge there, so it's it's not very far to go and catch nice fish. We do have guides there, so if you want to yeah. take a guide out for the day or if you want to take a guide out for the week, uh, they're very knowledgeable. Uh, if you don't take a guide, the guides are going to be more uh, willing to help you, give you advice, you know, what to use for baits, where to go, and everything. Yeah. But it's uh, and that helps. I think it's it's phenomenal. Right. Now I know, and now how's your taxi derby business? Now you, you got that going on, you're, and you're yep. going to keep that going too. Yep, I'll do keep doing the taxi full time, okay. and hopefully get up there a little bit more as time goes on. I mean. Yeah. If, God willing, I mean, the tax has been good, so I've been doing that for over 30 years now. Yeah. Uh, wow. Where's that located at again? That's Let's in uh, Paddock Lake, Wisconsin. We're at uh, located in Paddock Lake Sporting Goods. Good. So um, it's, uh, yep. Any questions, you can give me a call. I have a website. Uh, it's backcountrytaxidermystudio.com. We also have a website for the lodge. Okay. Uh, so you can look up the lodge. It's Morse, Morrison Outfitters. Uh, you can go to the, uh, the website if you have any questions, check it out. Yeah, Dale, it's right. great talking to you. Yeah, you too, Dean. Thanks, I appreciate it. Are, yeah, I'm glad things are going sure. good for you. I'm here with Nick from Kosher's Whitewater Rapping out of Privets, Wisconsin. You guys got this Whitewater Rapping uh, business up there. How's that going for you? Great. We've been the longest in business over 35 years. We're the longest running business on the river. Fantastic. You get a lot of people that come up to it. Oh, then? yeah. Probably the most on the river come to Kosher's Rapping. Well, now tell us a little bit about it. You have, you're, uh, you're one of the longest ones in the business. Yep, we're the okay. safest ones in the business. We run two rivers, the Menominee and the Pashtago River. We've been okay. doing it for 35 years. Now, is there uh, like uh, harder rapids, easier rapids, things like that? For the Menominee is a class four rapid okay. and the Pashtago is a class three, so it's a little bit more of a beginner level. Okay, now the beginner level, that's yep. what I was going to say. For So those that never did it, you have a beginner's level yep. for them and they can go out and have a lot of fun. Oh yeah. Not Lots too dangerous, fun. nothing oh. like that. The Menominee is a little more more of a danger level is a class more though. Okay. All right, well, and when they know that and they go on it, I'm sure that, I mean, you you provide them with everything they oh, need. Oh, yeah. Uh, All the gear they need, we put guides in the boat with you and good. on the river. Good. Now, with the frozen, we've had a rough winter this year. Been yeah. a long one. When long do you guys one. expect to start running for? Two, we're 2014 We here. hope the second weekend in April, but it all depends on when the ice melts. Okay. But uh, they can get a hold of you through, the, through your website through or they can call you. Yep. Okay. Gonna, if you want to come to Cozers, we'll give you a good time. All right, sounds like a good thing. So, well, you probably won us over. Yeah. We'll have to get up there. Thank you. All right. Well, hey, Nick, it was nice to meet nice. you.